Problem 39 here is similar to one that we saw, I think, back in section 3.2, where they've given you three graphs right here, and they've told you that each one is the derivative of one other function then out of these three, and you've got to figure out the order right here. So as we dive into this, I'm pretty sure, guys, that the fundamental counting principle tells me there's six different possible ways that this could shake out. You've got three different possibilities here for which function could be f. That would leave you with two possibilities for what's f prime and one for f double prime, three times two times one means there's six ways this could shake out. And I don't know that any one way is better than the other to dive into it here. I don't see anything really obvious in looking at the graphs that would rule out some of those possibilities. So just diving in, I would take a look at this first graph right here, which is A, and I would notice that it's got a horizontal tangent right here at one, and another one right here that looks oddly like it's a little bit less than three. So just looking at the graph of b, uh, let's take a look here. The, the derivative of a, then, the slope of its tangent would be 0 at 1, and that kind of seems to happen right here. And then, I don't know, this one is equal to 0 at 3, which looks a little bit off from the 3 right here. I don't think that b is the derivative of a. And in fact, I know if I look a little bit more carefully at what's happening right here. This graph of a is decreasing uh, uh, before we get to x equals 1, which means that the derivative derivative of graph A has to be negative. But this graph of B here is positive above the x-axis before we get to x equals 1. So there's no chance that B is the derivative of A. So let me throw that idea out, and maybe let me just reverse field right now. Is it possible that A is the derivative of B? Let's take a look. Well, again, I think these graphs are supposed to be a little bit better centered right here, but it looks like for B we've got a horizontal tangent there at 0 and another one right here at 2. Well, if I look backwards at the graph of a, hmm, that equals 0 when x is 0, and it equals 0 when x is 2. That looks possible. How about behavior? That little, I kind of wrote over it right there, but it looks like the graph of b is increasing when x is less than 0, which means its derivative should be positive, which this is right here. And then it's decreasing here between 0 and 2, which means its derivative should be negative. And it is, or the graph of A there is. And then it looks like it increases here from 2 until what? Maybe about 4 somewhere. Yeah, this graph is positive from 2 until there. And I guess I didn't talk about this, but it looks like there's another horizontal tangent right there and another spot in the graph of A where it's actually equal to 0. So I think we're onto something here, guys. I think that B is kind of our original function here, and A is the derivative of that. So now that I've made a big mess of this entire graph. Let me try to erase some of this. So that's what I think we've got here, guys. I think that B might be the graph of F, and then A might be the graph of its derivative. But of course, the other possibility here, I haven't even looked at graph C yet, and it's possible then that C is the derivative of A, which would make this graph F double prime, or the other possibility is that actually C is kind of the, the, the big daddy parent function, and B is actually the derivative of C, and then A would be the second derivative of C. So I think C fits in here somewhere. We've just got to figure out where and how that is. So let's take a look. I think it would probably be easier if I considered C being the derivative of A first. So again, horizontal tangent right here at 1. Okay, and my theory just got shot. If we've got a horizontal tangent right there at 1, the derivative of graph A would have to equal 0, and this graph does not, I'm sorry, the graph of C does not equal 0 when x is equal to 1. So this is not the graph of f double prime. Did not work out. Then what I'm thinking is probably the case is that b is actually the derivative of c. So let's play with that idea here. Looking at the graph of c, I've got a horizontal tangent right here at 1, and sure enough, the graph of b has a y value of 0 when x is 1. And we've got a horizontal tangent here at 3, and b is equal to 0 when x is 3 as well. How about behavior? The graph of c increases prior to x equals 1. Yep, and this graph, which I think is its derivative, is positive. Then it decreases from 1 to 3. Yep, its derivative is negative. And then it just barely increases when x is greater than 3, and this graph is just a little bit positive. I think we hit it there, guys. So I got to amend what I wrote. I believe now that c is actually the f graph, that b 
is the derivative of that, and that would make a the second derivative of the original function there. And I think that's the answer we were looking for here, guys. Determine which is which, so c is the graph of f, b is the graph of f prime, and a is the graph of f double prime.